What's up, viewers? Welcome to DifferentBrains.org. I'm your host, Adrian Sassano, and you're watching The Week in Neurodiversity. To kick things off, the NBA has made its flagship store in New York City more inclusive by launching autism-friendly features. Inclusion is a key value of the NBA, and we want to bring that to life in everything we do. At their flagship store on Fifth Avenue, new custom bags are now available for individuals with sensory sensitivities like autism in an effort to make the store more accommodating and accessible to families with special needs. We've been able to make this the first retail location in the world that's sensory inclusive. That means permanent accessibility and helping folks with sensory needs. Over in Wisconsin, a teen with Down syndrome has started a project that collects hygiene products for the homeless. Inside J&H Heating is where you'll find Sam Mayer's office. Here is where he works on Sam Smiles. Hmm. The name Sam Smiles is lost on no one. I love you too. I love you too. Sam and his mom Susan collect toiletry items and snacks to give to the nonprofit Mr. Bob's Under the Bridge. We had one of those, just one. Next up, students from Southern Utah University have helped open up boxing classes to help those with Parkinson's. The class started when retired SUU professor Dan Dale, who also has Parkinson's, learned about the benefits of boxing. It seems kind of counterintuitive. Think about Muhammad Ali, and he said, well, it's non-contact boxing. He went to SUU's Rural Health Scholar Program and asked if they could help. That's when Jens Howe, a pre-physical therapy student, jumped at the opportunity. I'm helping these guys retain their quality of life and also live longer. Over in Nebraska, the Omaha Police Department teamed up with the Autism Action Partnership to gain a better understanding of autism. The Omaha Police Department and the Autism Action Partnership Organization teamed up to help officers and children with autism understand each other. People with autism really thrive in environments and situations that are predictable and familiar. So these kids got a look into a police officer's day. That's what stop sticks yeah. are for. Taking a seat inside a cruiser, meeting the horse patrol, You're all right. and petting another furry officer. And finally, a seven-year-old boy with Tourette syndrome and his older sister have made an anti-bullying video discussing what it's like living with the condition. Don't tell other people with Tourette syndrome to stop because it stresses them out. And when you stress it out, it'll make it worse. And um, also staring can stress them out too. When you, when you stress them out in any, in any way, it hurts their feelings and it can make their tics worse. They bother me a little, but I'm okay. They seem to bother other people a little bit more sometimes, huh? And while you're here at Different Brains, be sure to check out some of our other content, like Exploring Different Brains with Dr. Hacky Reitman and the Spectrally Speaking podcast hosted by Becca Laurie and Dr. Katherine Cody. That wraps it up for this episode. Which story caught your eye the most? Be sure to let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. And remember, you keep advocating and we'll keep bringing the news.